Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make gazpacho again, another batch. Um, and it's going to be a little bit special. I want to try a new recipe, um, which is called creamy gazpacho. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the normal ingredients that I normally use. Um, tomatoes, these are pretty ripe, hard tomatoes. I often use cherry tomatoes because they're sweeter, but today I'm going to use these. And I'm going to use uh, peppers, bell peppers, and I have decided on these beautiful um, yellow peppers because I want my gazpacho have a lighter color. I often just play with the color. You know, I love to create different color gazpachos and just make, make it um, sort of a joy uh, for the eyes as well. There is uh, one cucumber here that I'm going to put into the gazpacho and a little bit of um, a few onions, two little small onions, these are actually maybe scallions, um, or what, what, what are these called? And then I also have some dry bread, okay, which I'm going to blend into the gazpacho, which is an absolutely basic ingredient. And then I'm, I have two different types of oil here. This is um, extra virgin olive oil. And this one is also extra virgin olive oil, but it's with pepperoncino, chili pepper. And uh, this oil is really, really hot. Even just a few drops um, give it a really, really spicy, hot taste. So you can only uh, put a few drops at a time. You cannot pour this oil because it's so, it's so spicy. And then, yes, I'm going to use a little bit of feta cheese, Greek feta, but just a little bit, you know, not so much. Um, I don't want to give my gazpacho a really strong feta taste. It's an experiment. I've never done this before. I've never um, made gazpacho with feta cheese in it before. So this is the first time and I'm going to I'm going to see um, what it's like. So stay tuned because now I'm going to wash all the vegetables, cut them up and then blend them together. So now I have blended um, all my veggies together. Um, uh, it's, they're all in a liquid format at the moment. And I have poured most of the liquid into this pot. So they're all in here except um, a small part, which is still in a blender. Because this is the moment when you blend in the dry bread. And you can use any kind of bread that you like. I love using this bread um, from uh, Lariano. We call it Lariano bread. Um, and Lariano is famous for its bread in the area where I live. So I usually buy Lariano bread. It's kind of um, whole wheat, not totally whole wheat, but like a little bit of whole wheat flour in it. And then I usually just chuck it into the blender, a piece of bread, or you can just, I, I could use like a hammer and, and um, uh, break it into pieces. But if you have a good powerful blender, this will, you know, the blender will take up this chunk. And so you just put it in and you blend it until smooth. Very, very simple. Let's have a look actually goes in real life so the bread is now in there and I blend it and I do hope my I do hope my blender is not gonna explode <laughs> because it's got the bread in it. But I have some more of the gas in here which I have previously poured out. So what I'm gonna do is just basically mix into the blender with my spatula okay and so now it's all in here. It's all in here. I really enjoy seeing the different aiuto, uh, the different colors of the soup. And then I'm going to use a nice big spoon to mix everything together. Of course, maybe a wooden spoon would be more authentic. It would be better, but you know, let's just let's just be happy with what we've got. And so I'm mixing, 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 mixing. Now there is no salt or pepper or oil in this soup yet. It is just the vegetables. There is a little bit of feta cheese in it by way of, a, by way of an experiment. And there is the dry bread in it. Okay. So the soup came out pretty thick, actually. If you want your soup thinner, you might want to add some water. In fact, I do want to, I do want my soup a bit thinner this time. So I'm going to add a bit more water to it. Just a little bit, just to make the soup a little bit thinner. So what happens here is that um, you really need time here 
for the flavors to come together. And so even, I would say, um, okay, you, we can season it already. So I'm, I'm gonna add some salt and I'm using just normal fine sea salt here. And it really depends on how salty you like your food. So, you know, I'm gonna, yeah, it's fantastic. It's coming out really, really nicely. Yeah, a bit more salt. But basically, the seasoning process will be finished in a few hours because now the soup is kind of warm and the flavors are really not. I can taste all the different vegetables separately. There isn't, you know, there, there isn't a great gazpacho taste yet, um, flavor yet that I, I like so much. So I'm just kind of uh, playing here with the salt and the olive oil. So I'm going to. I'm going to add about one just like big spoonful. This is like two tablespoons of olive oil, but you can add less, you know, I mean, depends. You know, if you're on a diet, you can even eliminate your, but I wouldn't recommend it. You need a bit of good oil in this soup to make it tastier and more nutritious. Remember, olive oil is really good for you, good for your heart. So that's it. Um, I'm going to add a few drops of this um, chili oil. And remember, this is, again, my own invention. It's not part of the original recipe. Um, they don't do, I, as far as I know, they don't do this in Spain. I think Andalusia is where this soup comes from. And uh, I've never had this soup twice or hot in Spain, but, you know. Okay, so I'll put in my seasonings for now. And I'm just going to cover the soup, shove it in the fridge, and leave it there for four hours minimum and then i'm going to taste it again and correct the seasoning um the soup is really good after two days actually um so but you know i'm not going to wait two days i, I can never wait two days so um, i'm going to eat the soup tonight for supper it's a lovely light extremely nutritious supper and yeah this is this is my uh gazpacho and i hope you i hope you try it it's a really good it's a really good soup in the summer when it's hot and um yeah okay well Thanks for watching.